Alrighty. Welcome back to me putzing around in Monster Hunter. I don't record every single time I play this because there's a lot of in-between filler crap. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of just picking and choosing. The journey is long and arduous and paved and grinding, so you don't need to see all of that. Um, but right now, I am about to embark on a quest. We're gonna go fight a Plaumu? Plaumu? Plumu? I don't know how to say it. It's the big balloon guy. We're gonna go fight the, the big balloon guy. I got 50 minutes to do it. I'll have it done in less than 10. So basically, the way that, as I've come to rediscover, these quests just follow the footprint trail that they sit they give you until you hit all of them and then you'll trigger a cutscene where you begin the fight that's that's how you do it and I'm doing it right now isn't that exciting I don't recall what the Palaumu Palaumu I don't remember what it's weak to. So I'm hoping that what I have will jack him up, so to speak. <laughs> we'll find out in a moment. Polumu. Pol Polumu? I don't know why I have such a hard time pronouncing that. Maybe if I heard it. There he is. <laughs> Monster vision. Come to think of it, why didn't they ever do that? They should make a multiplayer mode where players can play as the monster. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? It'd be like the game Evolve, except Monster Hunter. You know? Nope, he ain't getting any boy. Something tells me he's weak to blast, but I really am not sure. He's really not that big either. By comparison of a lot of other monsters, he's really not that big. an interesting screech. Or roar, whatever you want to call it. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, and I'm jacking him up already. <laughs> yep. Yep. Ouch. Not quite yet. If he didn't inflate like that, he'd be kind of cute looking, actually. <laughs> Oy. <laughs> like, blech. Not a fan of that. What are you doing? Are you attacking me? Uh-oh. Sleep. Sleep. I'm a sleep toad. Okay, well, we're jacking him up, bro. Ba -ba -ba. What do you think you're doing? Nope. 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 Issa's is barking. I was like, Kira's barking, but Issa's barking. What are you barking at, dog? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Stop it! God, I keep going the wrong way. 
Issa's been getting better with not barking at everything because we've been closing the curtains in my bedroom. So, <laughs> she can't bark at what she can't see. It's basically the solution to that problem. <laughs> Just funny because she's such a bitch when it comes to that. Yes, I wanted to get my charge going on. How did I not get hit there? I should have gotten hit there. Now, I don't remember what comes after this fight, so I don't know if I'm going to cut the recording or what. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Because I get some of these, like, dumb, smaller side quests. I just did a few of them, like, where it's, like, hunting small monsters or, like, collecting ingredients and stuff, you know? So that stuff, I, I just... I don't even bother recording that because it's, it's boring, dude. It's not boring to play. It's just kind of boring to watch. Where the heck do you think you're going? Where am I going? The wrong way again. Well, this gives me an opportunity to sharpen my blade back up. There he is over there. Is he Gimpet already? I think he is. Have I really been jacking him up that badly? I know I'm running in the complete opposite direction of the scout flies, but pretty sure his uh, little lair is over here. Yeah, see? I know where I'm going. Shut up, scout flies. You're drunk. Is he sleeping? That would be great, actually, if he were sleeping. He is, so I can do this. <laughs> you like that, sucker? Yep, here we go. Oh, come on, I hit the button. I hit the freaking button, dude. I did. You know I did. It just didn't trigger for some reason. So he does this little thing where he flies in and out here. It's kind of dumb. I, he should have gotten stunned there. Like I should have done the burst shot thing or whatever, but for some reason the game decided not to do it. But I was... I was... I hit the button. It just didn't trigger for some reason. Whatever. It was getting jacked up as it is. What the heck? That flashbacks. That's the one elder dragon. I forgot its name, but that one that shoots out wind. That that guy is fucking tough because he just stuns you constantly. Oh, <laughs> the the element discharge killed it. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Um. Yeah, I, don't, I was going to say earlier too, I don't know if this game is, it's easier than I remember it. And I wonder if that's because, like, the armor set I have is really good. I don't think the weapons are that different, to be honest. But I don't know. Shaboosh! I don't really remember. But I remember, like, guys like this were more of a challenge, but maybe it's just because... I know his moves more. I'm a better hunter. And and that's that's one thing that I like about this game is that the the game you can't just like grind out levels so much. Like you actually have to be kind of competent at the game, which I like. You know, there's an actual element of like becoming a better player as opposed to again just grinding out levels to get like the best like the most XP and stuff or whatever like certain other games that's what you can do is just you know you grind out levels but there's not really level grinding in this game so much like you actually just have to go out and fight the monsters that you know 
if you want a certain piece of armor or whatever, you gotta fight them to get the, the materials. That's it. It's pretty cool. Are we going to the Rotten Vale already? Not gonna lie, Rotten Vale is like low key my least favorite level in the game. Just because I think it's stinky. Now is the time. Yeah. Are we gonna get some wicked cutscene of us lowering ourselves into a toilet? Sorry, I'm all yawny and shit. Whatever. Is anybody watching this? If you're watching this, leave me a comment saying that I suck. I'll be very grateful for that. Oh, I didn't see what the time was on the Polaumu fight. I wanted to see if it was under 10 minutes. I don't care. <laughs> All this alone time for this freaking wicked cutscene, dude. Oh. Oh. That's why we don't do face cam shit on chin strap, is because it would just be us stretching and yawning and whatever. Bong. It seems very impractical. Like, they're inside of like a wooden boat and then they attach balloons to it. There. Head, heads up. That's a Gyrus lizard. A great Gyros. Yeah. So He's stinky. My ankle! Oh yeah, the effluvium, bro. I forgot about that. Yeah, there's all this effluvial crap. That fire looks pretty sweet. Oh, I'm playing the game. Isa. Isa. Yes, I know you say that every time. Uh, sight a great gyros and investigate the rotten veil. So we're basically in expedition mode. That kind of sucks. Isa, shut up. Shut up, dude. You got nothing to bark at. Dumb butt. <laughs> rotten veil. Bleh. Was I supposed to see that Legiana fall in there, or...? Yes, the effluvium, I recall. Oh, and an old Gridon, or whatever they're fucking called, I forget the name. Yeah, this all is gross, because it's just a bunch of dead shit, pretty much. Like, literally death and rot is what it is. So for that fact alone, I kind of don't like it. But... Um, is that near Gigante shit? Um, no, it'd be blue. Um, but I can appreciate the the variety, or like why they included it in the game for the variety. A red Oban, that's it. That's a good camera angle. Am I fighting him now? Do I have to fight him now? I'll fight him now, I don't give a shit. But like, you know. Oh. Ugh. I'm supposed to sight a great Gyros. Uh, okay. 
Watch yourself. Okay, I can do that. Don't tell me what the frick to do. I'm cutting that fucking tail off. Whether you like it or not, I'm cutting it. These dudes are cool. I like these dudes, like the design of them is pretty neat. They're big, and they rolly, and they pulley, and that's kind of cool. And they got the big old chin, like that's that's a cool thing. I feel like nature would not take its course in this way, where it's like wearing bones all over its body. But so what? This is a video game. Okay. I also don't think that there would be any electric fucking like lightning based like squirrel rat things flying around and shit. Like I don't know. <laughs> I wish there there was a robot or a robot or a monster where I could like get inside of it and kill it from the inside. That'd be pretty dope. I want that tail. It's such a juicy looking tail, right? Like, give me that. I want it. And it's such a big tail. There it goes. Yes! <laughs> Your body is mine. Yes! I want to break more bones off of him. Oh my goodness. I'm breaking a lot of parts off of this boy. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. You've been thunderstruck, boy. Uh oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. No! He cleafed on me. It's one of those things, I couldn't interrupt my animations, man. Just couldn't do it. Awake now, so doesn't matter. I forgot he can do that. That's one of his lesser used abilities. Is to put you to sleep, literally. It's not one that they uh, do super often. <laughs> Harvest your tail. Not right, good. You're running away because you're a punk bitch. He's gonna go regrow his bones. <gasps> Ugh, fuck. See, I, I don't um, actively remember like the order in which the the monsters start trickling in because. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I played this game, like through, like in in a sense of like through the like you know the story, and also, who's got time to remember that shit? God, missing like crazy. But we might be able to get him to get stuck in this little shit. Get over, get over here. How am I walking on this? Come here. This will work, but heck with it. There we go. Oh, it did work. All right, cool. Yes, break all of the bones off of him. I no element to that, but whatever. I'll hit him anyway. I 
Yeah, this is where he starts rolling around like an idiot because he like doesn't have his bones on him or whatever, so he like stuns himself constantly. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. Oh, he gimping, dude. What? Oh. Well, I gotta check the ancient fossil, dude. I haven't been here yet. Ugh. This place is fucking gross. Like, pardon me for saying so, but this is a fucking dump, bro. You should find... You should move somewhere else. Like, you should... Contact your landlord and be like, what the fuck, man? Well, creeped again. I didn't even see him doing that. Me, why did you get caught in that? You know better. So it's like, ugh. Like, look at this, like, gory, like, bloody goop all over. Like, ugh. It's just nasty. Was he dead? Oh, he's dead. Alrighty then. That was... I was not expecting that hit to kill him, but okay. Alright. I don't understand why the... So I had to fight him, but then I've got to find a great Gyros. I don't know. Yeah, I remember... Well, he's dead. Thank you for watching me kill that guy. Um, but that's one thing that I do recall, though, is like being in this situation where you're like... Um, trying to... Like, progress through the story, and then like these crazy monsters keep appearing, and you're like, fuck, dude, like, you know... Fighting that guy the first time is pretty hard, man. Not gonna lie. Like, that dude, pretty difficult the first time you fight him. Now it's like... Nothing. What is this X? Is that the shortcut thing? There are shortcuts that you can discover, I recall that. Uh, no, we want to go down, I think. Alright, let me see if I can find this... Great gear. Like, what is this poop falling from the ceiling? From up above. It's just foul. Are we in the jaws of like a giant creature? Oh, I forgot about you guys. You guys suck. It's like horned beetle bitches. See, look, look at it. It's just death and decay, and it's fucking gross. Like, I hate, I hate it. Because <laughs> it's nasty, dude. Like how can like how can you make a whole ecosystem in this sty shit stain of a place? Return to the research base, okay? If you say so, I could easily kill this fucking thing though. But whatever. If it ain't for a quest, I'm not gonna do it. Well, in that case, uh, I'm going to call it an episode here, or at least I'm going to cut the recording. Uh, next time on Single Chin Strap Chap. Ooh, what is this? I continue to murder the innocent creatures of this place in an effort to learn how their innards work. Thank you for watching my TED Talk. Goodbye.